So greetings from a very chilly Pennsylvania day. Today's January 8th, and we're gonna hit up a couple of covered bridges down here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. So I did have other plans for today. I was planning on doing one of my French and Indian War videos and maybe hiking a little bit on the Appalachian Trail, but then I remembered I have a ceremony that I was planning on going to. I just kind of forgot which day it was. Uh, some of my students are getting their, uh, they're into Boy Scouts, they're getting their Eagle Scout uh, awards today. So I'm gonna stop in and check that out for a bit. So I thought since we're gonna be down here in Lancaster, we'll see what we can do down here today and we'll do some covered bridges. Yeah, so we are currently in Mannheim. I think that's uh, Mannheim Central School District up there. I think that's the middle school. There's Naomi, she's got all, she's all covered in stuff from the roads. Yeah, we finally got our first uh, significant snowfall here in my part of Pennsylvania. But just over that way, because over that way is the high school, um, I think it's what's called Shearer's Mill Covered Bridge. I think this path right here takes us to it. If I remember looking at the maps correctly. All right, so I do see the covered bridge down there. I wasn't sure if this was the right pathway here. I think the high school is up that way. Yeah, Shearer's Mill Covered Bridge. Oh yeah, I'm going to be placing channel sticker number 47 out here as well. Yeah, I do have channel sticker number 47 here for Shearer's Mill. At least I think it's number 47. I was trying to remember on the way here what the count was. And then I'll be sharing a picture from channel sticker number 44. Not a picture of the person who actually found it, but a picture of someone else. But we'll talk about that after I hide channel 47 around here. Channel sticker number 47 up here. But let me turn it around so we can see the bridge. Shearer's Mill covered bridge. Yeah, as you come down this trail, you can see it up there. Because once again, let me turn around. Uh, I parked up that way. Up the legs, I believe that's the middle school. And I think this is White Oak Road. There was a little parking lot there that I parked in. Got a little tractor coming down here. So then we'll head up to the bridge then. Let's make our way up. So this was built in 1847. One of our older bridges. Oh yeah, there's a total of 27 covered bridges here in Lancaster County. So there's quite a few here. We're just doing three today. Yeah, built 1847. Had some rebuilding done in 1856. And this is not its original location. It was moved here from another spot, like about four miles upstream. This is the little Chickies Creek here too that it crosses. And it is 89 feet long. And it is not open to vehicular traffic, just foot traffic. I think there's talk of doing some restoration work to it, but I don't think that's happened yet. Got these little windows on the side. Oh yeah, you should recognize the design. We got those arches, the Burr Arch Truss. And this guy's got some slightly larger uh, king posts than some of the other ones we've been to. Looks like this one's painted red on the inside too. Okay, so these look like uh, these look like wooden wooden pegs. I know one of my viewers is talking about that. Since most of the bridges had like metal pegs, but this feels like this is all wood right here. At least they look like wood. They feel like wood too. Yeah, here's the king post, the one in the middle. On oh, this one too has the steel, uh, I forget what these are called again. The vertical girders or something like that to help hold it together. Bunch of them along the way. On the other side now, there's a look up the Chickies Creek. Beautiful wintertime view. I think we might walk down, to our, down that way a little bit, get some views of the bridge coming up this way. Oh, here we got, here it says, Shears Covered Bridge. There it is, Burr Arch Truss. It was originally built in 1847 by Jacob Clare at the cost of $600. It was rebuilt in 1855 and stayed there until it was moved four miles in 1971 to its present location, Mannheim Memorial Park. The bridge is a unique single-span wooden double-double burr arch truss design. 
The only covered bridge in the county painted entirely in red. Oh yeah, it's one of the few that has the horizontal sideboards and windows. There's those windows. Yeah, it is painted red on the inside too. Even all the the beams and girders. Everything's painted red. Except for the except for the floor and the ceiling. I just like I said we'll walk down the the roadway a little bit. And then here we'll turn around, get a nice side long view of the bridge. That's pretty cool with the snow and the stream. I think I'll try to get a view from the other side too. This one's kind of in shadows. I like to get a view of the sun shining on it. All right, so let's make our way to the other side. We'll turn around in a moment. Oh yeah, we're gonna get an awesome view from here. I can see it already. Let me turn it around here slowly. See this side, we get the sun shining on it. That's beautiful. Let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna try to get the bridge in frame. Yeah, check that out. Beautiful, beautiful bridge. I backed up just a little bit more. Beautiful sight. Love the snow with the red. All right, let's see if we can get a look underneath. I know some of you like to see what it looks like underneath. You can do so without getting wet here. It's ice. Okay, this is all kind of icy here. No. Yeah, not sure how this is gonna work. Okay, that's about as close as I'm gonna get to underneath. There's no steel girder under this one. Well, we'll start making our way through, but I need to find a place to put the channel sticker. Get a look through as we come through again here. Yeah, everything's red inside here. There's different features that some of the other bridges didn't have, like this right here. Oh yeah, this is the double. See, there's two arches, a double, double burr arch truss. There's two of them. I see them both going up there. It also has these here too, that some of the other bridges we've seen didn't have. I found a spot for a sticker, so I'm back on the other side of the bridge again. I just walked over there. That's the side I came on. That takes you to the White Oak Road side of the bridge. Back here is on this side of the bridge where the high school is. Here's the here's like this chain. I guess you could block the bridge off a little bit. But then over here on this side of the bridge is like right by the window. You can stick the channel sticker right. My, hand, my hands are cold. I'm gonna stick it right in there. It'll stick out like you can probably see the plastic sticking out just a little bit there. Might try to shove that in just a little bit more. Right there it is. There's channel sticker number 47. Yeah, so once again the channel sticker is on this end. I guess we would call the Mannheim side of the bridge. Right by the window. Tucked away in there into the side. That's where it is. If you want it. And as I say with all these channel stickers, if you're the one that finds it, if you could please send me a picture. I just like getting a picture so I can share it in a future video. Plus it's fun to see the picture of the person who found the sticker. And it also lets me know that the sticker has indeed been found. And on that note, let me uh, share uh, a picture from channel sticker number 44. Um, it was found. I did get a comment in that video. The person said they found it. I asked them to send me a picture, but they, they didn't. Which, you know, it's okay, you don't, you don't have to in the end, but someone did send me a picture. Her name is Erica. Um, she's not the one that found the sticker, but she went up there looking for it. And she sent me a picture of her and her dog. So it's a cute picture, so I'm going to go ahead and share that picture with you now. 
Now I'm not gonna do that for all these channel stickers, share pictures of people who went looking for it but didn't find the sticker. But in this case, I didn't have a picture of the person who actually found it, so I thought I'd share her picture. And I do uh, all the stickers for channel, all the, all the stickers from channel sticker number 45 were found as well. I placed that uh, block 47, I'll share those in a future video. All right, let's take a look, just a little bit, I'm gonna take a few more pictures here at Shearer's Mill Covered Bridge. It's a nice one too because there's no vehicular traffic, so I don't have to worry about getting run over. It's just cold out here today. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back on the other side of the bridge now, the white oak side of the bridge. I just want to see if I can get another view of it from the side. Head down this way a little bit. Looks like there is a path, paved trail over here. Going out that way, but let's go over here into the snow. Got a couple of inches the other day. Just a beautiful bridge. So that'll be it for Shearer's Mill cover bridge. Beautiful but cold day to be out here, but enjoying it nonetheless. All right, so we're gonna head to the next one. I think it's uh, Landis Mill cover bridge, just outside of where Park, the Park City Mall is of all places. If you're familiar with, that, familiar with that area, it's a busy area. Kind of surprising that there's a covered bridge there, but there is, it's a little one, but it's there. So we're gonna check out that one next. So, Channel Sticker 47 is back there, as always. Thanks for coming along, and I'll see you at the next covered bridge.